Hi, I'm Navid Ansari. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can have something like this, like dialogue. And whenever you change the size of your game or install it in, in any Android phone or iPhone, the size will be right. So you can see it in here. Whenever we change the size of the windows, the dialogue will stay the same size according to window size. So without any further ado, let's begin. I did update my game maker so this is the home screen of our game maker now so now let's just create a new project blank and of a gml or game maker language let's call it dialogue test and let's go in most of my video i i, I create a object a script and upload it to marketplace but this time we're gonna do it from zero so for that let's just create an object here and let's call it obg dialogue and let me show some of the sprite that I want to use. This is the face or uh, it's just an image, uh, an icon to draw our image in it and a text box. So let's begin and add these three to our sprite by dragging. So that's it. Let's name it. So let's just rename it. This is SPR text box. This is the face. So let's call it SPR face. And this is the icon that we were gonna draw our face in it. So SPR icon. So know that we rename it. There, there are some cool tips that I wanna show you when you wanna draw something in an ex a specific location with any screen sizes. So it work fine. So first of all, the anchor point, you see it in here. I want to draw it from uh, let's say the height of this sprite is 140 and i want to put this anchor at right here and the y position of the anchor i want to be 70 and that's a cool location to draw it right and for the for the face i want um, let's go to this icon here this circle and i want to put the anchor to the middle right so it will be here i will show you why why i'm doing this so after that, no, let's just set this face to anchor to, to middle, middle right. So that's it. Why I did this? Uh, when I want to draw this from this anchor point, I want to draw this at this location, right? So I set this anchor point to draw from here like this and this anchor point for this circle as well. So let's just draw it so you can see it. So let's just open this obg dialog at a draw gui event here because we have we want to have gui in here but you can use draw as well so if we say draw a sprite and give it our sprite in here the text box so image is zero for x and y let's just use x and y of our object for no of course and after that we want to draw our icon and our face but because we want to this this circle at be at the top of this face so what we should do we should first draw our face and after that just draw our icon above it so now that we have this let's just open our room and add this dialog to somewhere like this because we want to use the x value x and y value of this object in a few minutes i will change that but for now let's just use it so now let's just run it to see what will happen and you can see it without any without doing anything it looks fine but there is a problem in here so i want to resize this window for you to see that this will be cropped it so let's just change the size of our window in here um, something like this and run it again and you can see it didn't resize itself to according to our window size so it is cropped it from over here so that's not cool so we should draw these sprites like if it's installed on any phone it should resize itself according to height and width of that phone so let's find out how we can do that for that let's just go to our there are gui in here head of 12 to make it full screen and in here what i want to do is to get width and height of um, our GUI size so for that we can say GUI width is equal display get GUI width and for the height let's just copy and paste this and instead of width let's just say height and in here as well height and now we have GUI width and GUI height of our display 
So we want to use that to change the size of our sprites in here. We can't use draw sprite anymore. So what we should use, we should use draw sprite stretched. And for the sprite, first I want to use uh, SPR x box for sub image zero for x i want to use for no i want to use x and y of our object and after that we will change it for w or width of our sprite it should be according to the size of our window or our display gui size okay so what what i want to do what i always do in here i want to give it a value according to size of our display so we can do it like this it's like 0.6 of over GUI width. Okay, so it's, it's like 60% of over um, a GUI width. So whenever the phone screen or display size or window size or monitor that they are playing or gaming it, uh, the GUI width, the width of over a sprite will be according to the width of the screen size. So we say we say it like this it's like uh, you're saying 60 percent of our uh, width of our display so for the height let's put it some random value in here and gui height and that's it for this now let's just run it to see if the height is okay or not so it's a little bit a little bit stretched i don't want to be like that so let's just increase this to like something like this it's like uh, you say 15% of our GU height GUI height okay let's just run it again and that's I think it's cool now let's just draw our icon and face just like this so let's just copy and paste this and first let's just draw our face because we want a face to be under our icon so let's just change this to face the x and y we want to be the x and y of our object and because the face if you if i show you again the face is like uh, 153 and 153 so it is a square so we can use the same width and height in here so i want it to be like this like above so let's just change it something like um 15 percent of our gui width and 15 percent of gui height and let's just do it for the face as well now that we change this value uh, let's just change this to icon as well so now let's just run it to see what will happen and you can see it's not right it's like the anchor point is right or at the left we don't want that so there is a problem in game maker when you use draw sprite stretch it uh, it's not working right with anchor point so what you should do in here you should go to your sprite because you want to draw it as a stretch just check this nine activate activate nine slice and let's just check all of them and no anchor point will work fine so let's just run it again and you can see it's better but it's not okay so let's just go up i want to change some value in here i want to change this to something like 12 percent of gui height and and change these to like 13 percent of our gui height and now let's just run it again you should tweak this value until it's okay it's not okay but let's just change it again let's just change the room size to something like this make it a little bigger and now we can see it more clearly i want to change some value in here so we should tweak all of this value until we reach the value that we want and it will work on all the sizes so what I want to do, I want this to be closer to our text box. So how we can do that, we can go to our, um, to our face icon and put it a little in the left. So let's just decrease this value to something like this and change it for this as well. So now let's just run it. And it's a little bit stretched. You can see that it's not a perfect circle in here. So what we should do, let's just go up and for it to be a perfect circle the width and height should be the same so let's just copy this and paste it in here and paste it in here as well because it is a square you don't need to use gui height for the height for this so now let's just run it again and you can see that it is circle but it is bigger than our 
um, text box. So what we should do, let's just again copy this and put it in here again a tron and it's it's a little bit better but i want to change the size the percentage of the height of our text box so something like 12 percent of gy width is i think more than enough and you can see it that it's look cool so now we want to draw a text on this text box right so for that um, let's just add a font in here if you don't know how to use font i did create a video about that but i will show it fast in here so we can say fn my font let's just change the change the font to something that we like go down to see something cool let's just use this um, and uh, let's just change the size something like this the size of our font and now let's just save it and let's just go back to our um, object we can do it with Control tab in here and go back to our object dialog so now we want to draw a text in here so for that first of all i want to say draw set font we want to use our font so fn my font for vertical alignment i want to say fr center and for the horizontal al alignment i want to say e it should be at left so fr left and after that we can draw our text so we can say draw text transform because we want to scale the top according to our screen size so for that we can say we can use x and y of our object and for the string i want to say this is our first dialogue and for the x scale I want to use this GUI read again and I want it to be the size of the percentage percentage of GUI width is I want it to be like this so I don't want it to be a lot big so I want to use this and for the Y scale I, I can copy and paste this again and put it in here for the angle I want to use zero so no let's just run it and you can see our text is starting from here so let's just shift it to the right by something doing something like this plus 20 in here and now let's just again run it and you can see our first dialogue is here you can use it to show your client or player how they can play your game or any notification that you want to show them so now that we have this we can change the size of our room something like this to see what will happen if we change over the size of our room and you can see it will resize itself according to width and height of our uh, as a display size and you can test a lot of things in here 2000 to 1000 and no let's just run it again and you can see that it works fine and everything is okay no matter what platform they are using and install your game on it will resize itself according to the display size so for x and y i want to go to a step event let's just add an step event and like before i want the x of this object uh, i want to change the x of this object to something like this um like 20 percent let's just put it like this 20 percent of our display yet gui width and for the y i want to say something like this 15 percent of our display get height so now wherever we put this object it will draw it at 20 percent of our windows width and 15 percent of our windows height so now let's just run it again and you can see the position of this uh, object and sprites will change according to the size of our display or our phone so that's how you can do it i hope you like this video thank you very much for watching if you like please hit that subscribe button like button bell button if you want thank you very much for watching bye